This one's really pretty. It has like perfect churro consistency and it holds like a little cake. Hi, I'm Guillermo, senior video producer for Chava. Today I'm gonna show you how to make churro funnel cakes. It's not a huge leap from churro to funnel cake, very similar batters. To serve it, we're gonna make a dulce de leche. I'm gonna show you a little hack that I learned when I was little. So to start, we're gonna fill this up with a good amount of oil. Today I'm gonna use canola oil. So we have our oil heating up and now we're gonna make the gel. We're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a whole cup of water, and half a cup of butter. Now we're gonna heat this up at medium high. We're gonna let this get to a soft simmer. Our butter is melted. We're gonna move this from the heat. Now we bring our wooden spoon and we're gonna add our cup of flour. Now that our flour is stirred in, we're gonna start adding our eggs one at a time. First egg. Use your wooden spoon, it helps you smash all the clumps. Now egg number two. And now we go with egg number three. Okay, that looks good. Let's grab a shallow plate. We're getting really close to piping now, so let's get our plate with sugar and cinnamon ready. Just gonna give it a little mix. This looks great, it smells delicious. This is what we're gonna coat our cakes in. We don't want this to be super oily and gross, so we're gonna prep another plate with paper towels. That's gonna be to help us get some of that oil off before we roll it in our sugar and cinnamon. So the next thing we need to do, and this oil is pretty much there, is we're gonna fill a pastry bag with a star tip with the dough. me look because I'm usually not that good at this. Your piping bag and the idea is that you pipe in a spiral directly into the oil. Boom. That's our first one. Let's pipe another one in right and spiral. Okay these guys look good. Puffed and golden. So now onto my paper towels. And I'm gonna go straight back in with my piping bag. I'm gonna roll my first ones. But make sure they're still hot so the sugar and the cinnamon really sticks to them. It all rolled in, sugar, cinnamon, Delish. So we made our churro funnel cakes. So what we did for the sauce, the dipping sauce that we're gonna have with it, it's a type of caramel. You get a can of condensed milk, you take away the paper, labels, everything, and let it cook in simmering water for about two hours. I removed the can with tongs very carefully from that pot with the simmering water, and I've let that cool down on my rack. I don't know if people are very familiar with how condensed milk looks in the can. Just like a whitish, milky color. When it's cooked, it turns into caramel, or arequipe, or dulce de leche, or cajeta. It changes color, texture, and flavor because of the Maillard reaction. It's something that we see when we caramelize onions. It's basically the interaction between sugars and amino acids. I feel like I'm seven years old again and like asking my mom to buy me sweets. It's just so good. Mm. It's a perfect combination.